So remember our log rules, we've got the product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule, and the change of base rule. Now I've added this one called the equality rule at the bottom. It's one that we'll talk about um, a little bit later in our slideshow, so don't worry about that one too much. It's actually pretty self-explanatory. But remember that the product rule just tells us if we have two things multiplied together, um, we can add the log of the first plus the log of the second, and it will equal the, the log of the two things multiplied together. And if you think about this, logs are just exponents, and so there's a big long mathy proof that we won't go through, but basically if you think about it, that kind of follows our exponent rules. Um, you know, multiplication and addition kind of go together with our exponent rules, and same with division and, and subtraction with our exponent rules. So if you just kind of think about that, that it really makes a lot of sense. So if I have log of two things divided, um, now remember this would be the two things are both inside the log, then I could subtract one log from the other. Um, and if you remember top to top, bottom to bottom, or bottom to the side, I don't know what you want to call that. Anyway, and then the power rule, this one's really handy, we use this all the time. If you have a power up here, you can bring it down here, and um, now you've taken the power out of the exponent. And then we have the change of base, which basically says I can take the log of A, um, put it down here, because see it's kind of like lower, and the log of X, and put it up here, because it's kind of higher, so you think about that. Okay, so let's write this one as one log all together. Okay, so the first thing I notice is I have these fives out front, which makes me think that they are probably going to be exponents. So I have a to the fifth minus log c to the fifth. And then this is subtracting, so now I have log a to the fifth over c to the fifth. And both of those are inside my log. All right, this one, I, again, I see this five out front, which makes me believe it's going to be an exponent. So I have a to the fifth plus log of q. Now this is adding, so this tells me it's a product. So now I have log of a to the fifth q all inside the log. Now this one we're going to split apart. So um, it's multiplying, so that means I add these two together, log of x squared plus log of y cubed. And then I can bring these exponents out front, and I get 2 log of x plus 3 log of y. That's actually really useful when you use logs. All right, this one again, we're going to condense it, so we're going to bring this 3 up front, um, or not up front, out of the front, up onto the 7. So we have log base b of 7 to the 3rd minus log base b, whoop, I'm getting ahead of myself, log base b of 7. And since we're subtracting, I know this is going to be dividing, so I go log base b of 7 cubed over 7, and Sometimes you can just leave it, but I mean, that's obvious, right? That's obvious that can be simplified. 7 cubed over 7, one of those 7s cancels out with one of these 7s, and I'm left with two 7s up here, so I have log base b of 49. Okay, and then this one, um, it may not be obvious at first, but uh, first thing I see is it's a quotient, so let's go ahead and get them split apart. So we have log of the cube root of y squared uh, minus log of x z to the fourth, and that fourth is only on the z, not on the x, we have to recognize that. Uh, then I see those two things are multiplying together, so I'm going to split those again too. Um, so that's log of x plus log of z to the fourth, but you notice I was subtracting this whole thing, I was subtracting this entire log, so I need to subtract it even when I split it apart, so I subtract the log x and the log of z to the fourth. So this is log, and I'm going to write that as an exponent instead of as a, as a root. So that's going to be y to the two-thirds minus log of x minus log of z to the fourth. And then last but not least, we're going to take all of those exponents down. We're going to have two-thirds log of y minus log of x minus four log of z, and we are finished.